Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video, we are going to be learning how to create a flow panel component dynamically. So when you create a component dynamically, you have to set all of the properties and the events for this component via code. I also create a component via code. So this is a flow panel component I have here on the form. Let's say for instance you add buttons to this form. Like plenty of buttons. Ooh, not there. Let's copy and paste some buttons to it. You will actually see that the, the, the button is basically flow on the panel. So this is what a, a flow panel does. Let's create this panel. We're going to be creating a panel dynamically. I then create lots of um, dynamic buttons on this panel as well. Okay, so let's do that. Actually, let's... Um, Add a scroll box here. I had one earlier. Okay, it's fine. Let's just add new scroll box. Position my headset a bit better. Align the scroll box to center. Ah, I mean client. And hmm, in the vertical scroll bar, we just Enable tracking. Okay, so let's create one. Let's start by adding a variable. We'll say then uh, flow panel of type D flow panel. And then we have to set, um, create a component and set a parent for it. So you can pause the video and read the difference here between owner and parent. So let's start by saying then flow panel colon equals oops t flow panel dot create and then this create constructor wants an owner so the form will be responsible for destroying the components we add a form there then we say then flow panel dot parent sorry and to make the parent um, equals to the scroll box because we want this dynamic flow panel to appear on this scroll box. Okay. Then we say then flow panel. Let's align to top. Dot align colon equals t align dot top. And we say then flow panel dot. Let's give it a height of um four. No, not four hundred. Yes, four hundred. Okay. Let's give it, just make the caption nothing. And that should be fine. Let's compile and sh see how that looks. Let's actually just give it a different color. Then flow panel dot color colon equals G. It doesn't work like that. Okay. Let's give it a color of hash 555. Okay. Or 666. It's a grey kind of color, it should be. Or oh, this HTML color. Uh, just add uh, CL grey parent background and make it false. Okay. So let's compile. And now you have some flow panels here. So let's just go and create a separate procedure now. Let's make the private declarations. Procedure uh, create buttons. Okay. Implementation we just say procedure tfrm home dot create buttons. And this will just create some buttons. Um, let's actually give it parameters. We'll give it um let's just call it then of type t flow panel okay uh, let's call this thing by saying create buttons and then we give it a then flow panel Let's 
variable uh, let's just say then button of t button then we say then button dot yeah oops colon equals t button dot create also the form we give it a parent and we make the parent the then which is this ah oh, what am I doing make it this then which is a, a flow panel and the flow panel is given here as this one okay and that's fine okay so let's actually compile this and see how this looks so now each one should have a button as you can see so let's give it a caption then button dot caption I am a button give it the different sizes dot height colon equals 50 also give it the width width I'm not sure how much is um, 50 really ah uh, we'll see okay, let's compile Okay, 50 is not not enough let's make it uh, 150 okay let's actually just make the height 50 uh, 50 is fine for the height let's compile so this okay that's fine okay now let's put this in a loop okay add a variable i of type integer and we'll just say here uh, Okay, for i colon equals one two. Let's add fifty buttons in it. Do begin. Okay, so let's compile, and now each flow panel should have fifty buttons, as you can see. Now we have two flow panels here, and when we resize the form, you can actually see it flowing. Different buttons. Okay. So let's go and add hmm, an on click event to this one. Let's first go to public declarations. Let's say I'm just used to adding public declarations when it's an event. So we'll call this event then um, flow panel on click. We'll give it a sender object. Then below here we say procedure tfrm home dot then flow panel on click and this procedure will just be called when then flow when the on click event is called then this procedure will be called okay as you can see here setting it is we are setting this procedure to the on click event of this flow panel. And this will just change the color of the flow panel. So we say send it as the flow panel dot oops ah uh, dot color and we just give it a random color such as um random can you, you can even go and um, like say different uh, like make different buttons here I give each each button a color name and then set a um, procedure to procedure to the button so then the buttons changes the color if you want to do that instead so let's compile I'm just going to making one when I click on this panel then the color changes let's make another one as you can see so I can make another one as well so yes, so this was just a basic tutorial on how to create a T-flow panel dynamically. So if this video helped you in any way, please make sure to leave a thumbs up for this video. Leave a comment below, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.